So now we were talking about parts of network and in earlier videos we have talked about the different nodes, different parts of the network like nodes, media and all those nooks which we require for understanding the basics of a network. So now we will discuss about how do we lay those uh, different nodes in a network. So that is called a topology. Topology means how we lay the medium, how we lay those wire or wireless media connected to those nodes. So that is the topology. So anyone can design numerous numbers of topologies but there are few basics which we are going to discuss now few of them are bus topology then it is ring topology then we have star topology mesh topology and in this topology what we are going to discuss about we are controlling resources so there will be a compromise between dollar that is or rupees that is the amount of money spent with complexity uh, and uh, slash maintenance with ease of installation. So we will see into three different mainly three different factors that we determine while discussing this topology. So there are basically standard four to five topologies that, that we will discuss and we will discuss about them based on these factors. So now we are going to start with bus topology. So in bus topology we have a single frame or single skeleton. Single skeleton and all the nodes are connected to that. So for that I need to draw a diagram. So in bus as we said there will be one single media that is consider a wire and we will put different nodes across this wire that is along this wire that may be as we have said the basic few nodes like printer or uh, uh, laptop a macbook a pc a server now these are connected through this media is like they may be wired they may be uh, wireless but basically we we will just combine them with wired media for easy understanding so now in this this is very basically very simple very easy and these are usually found in homes and networks where there is not much of professionalism required in this, if a particular PC requires some service, so it will access the server. So it will send out the signals everywhere. And this is the basic thing that the signals will be sent out through every media. As in, if you, if you consider this as a uh, water tank and water flows out, it will go to every pipe. If you consider this wires as pipe. So, and here what we require is called as terminator. So terminator what it does is that if we see that the signal coming out from here may go to the end and then reflect back and then it will collide. So it will cause collision. So to avoid that we require terminators. So this terminator what it does is those absorbs the signal and prevents collision. So at the both of both the end we have seen that we are adding terminators. So these are terminators and what it does is when the PC sends some signals it goes to every node but when the PC sends to laptop hey I need this file but laptop will be like you, are, you have come to the wrong guy go to server so it, and in this way it will go till the server is found when the server it will found the server will, will say like that okay I have your file now I will service you so in this way if any particular node Need some data, it will send out the uh, signals to different nodes in this way. But at the end of the day, the server will be the only one which will respond, which will respond to their service and provide them with self service. Like in server, we have different files stored, so particular Mac or maybe PC or maybe laptop require that data, so they will ask the server. But the main thing is the signals will go to every node but that will be serviced only through server this is the main point and that is the main point first 
and then comes this terminals because this terminals are also required now we will see in terms of money the money required for this is very less not that much because you simply need a wire and different devices connected to it with some devices more like terminators but if the money is less but there is some complexity for instance if this wire gets cut maybe due to rats because there are many rats in india we can find in our home everywhere so that for that reason may, the wire may get cut in that instance this network may get vulnerable this is very much vulnerable so if we suppose that this wire get cut so we need a terminator here if we don't have a terminator what will happen if the pc wants to connect to the server it can never connect to the server because there is no connection first of all and even if the mac wants to connect to the server it will connect but we see that there is no terminator here so the signal will interfere and at the end of the day it will result in error so we see that if you need a simple network net simple topology we will use bus topology in which there will be one main wire through which different nodes are connected and we will require terminators but but it has also some disadvantages like i have told that it will always require some terminator and if some wire get cut then it is very much vulnerable so we will not require this in where there there is lot of handling of data and where there is security required and vulnerability is the main concern so now we will move on to the next topology so the next topology that we are going to study is ring topology earlier we studied about the bus topology now we are going to study about ring topology in this there is not a string of wire but those two strings are the two ends of the string are connected so as to form a ring or a circle and the different nodes are connected to it in the similar fashion if a particular device needs to access somewhere or need to get a file it will send out its signal and in the similar fashion it will go to every possible node and every possible direction but here there is a catch suppose this pc wants to access the server so here it sends out the signal it goes to different direction then it goes to the laptop then laptop says i'm the wrong guy printer says the same then it comes to server then it comes to mac so when it finds that it has went to the server that is the right guy it still will not stop it will still go on circulating till the signal comes back again to the pc that is the sender that is the sender who is send, giving out signal or sending out signal will not stop sending its signal even if it finds the server so here it is sending out signal the signal has reached server the server is ready to service the pc but still the signal will go on and it will end or terminate till it reaches the pc so in bus topology we have seen that it goes and then it ends it finds server then it ends but here the signal will go on till it come till it forms a circle as in where we are sending it comes again and then goes back to pc so in this what we require is a thing that in bus topology we require required terminators but here we don't require any terminator and this is not that much cheap as the bus topology so if you are worried about money then use bus topology not ring topology but if you are worried about handling large amount of data so obviously use ring topology because it is capable of handling large amount of data than bus topology so in case of data use ring topology i am using the abbreviation and if money is your concern money is your concern then always use bus topology and here you can also say that if this get disconnected so how will the mac reach the server it will not reach by this way it will reach by this way and suppose if the wire get connect, disconnected from here for that we have a solution that we earlier which we which i rubbed out is the single ring topology here it is the double ring topology in which the data or the signals move in opposite direction so there are different nodes connected name it laptop mac or a server 
even if the outer ring gets disconnected the inner ring is still connected to the different nodes and just the vice versa if the inner ring gets disconnected then the outer ring is connected and if somehow that happens so this is the worst case for that we will need to repair it and mind it that the direction of data flow is opposite in this rings so uh, in short we can say that ring topology is much better than bus topology is much safer than bus topology if we use double ring that is is much much safer and for that due to its complexity due to, due to more resources required it is not that much cheap as bus topology hence if money is your concern use bus topology but if you want to manipulate large amount of data then obviously use ring topology thanks for watching our videos if you like it then like our videos subscribe to our channel share to your friends and if you have any queries comment down below